Drying. Drying is one of the oldest methods for preserving food. It is practiced by primitive society to dry their meat and fish in the sun long before recorded history. Until today, the drying of food is still important in our century for a method of preservation. This method is important to keep dried food for a long period of time without spoiling. Preservation is the principal reason for drying, but drying can also be implemented for other purposes too. After introducing the definition of drying, so what is actually constant rate drying? You must be curious. Constant rate drying actually means steady rate of water evaporation from a wet solid as long as free moisture covers the exposed surface. To have a better insight about this term, we can use the drying rate curve and also a figure of wet solid at the bottom to explain it. As depicted in the graph, we can divide the plots into four drying periods. However, for some materials, fewer than four drying periods are observed. From period A to B, it is called the preheating period where the wet solid is being preheated to an exposed surface temperature equal to the wet bulb gas temperature, while a moisture is evaporated at an increasing rate. At the end of the heat period, the exposed surface will still be covered by a film of free moisture. The drying rate now becomes constant from period B to C, which prevails as long as free moisture covers the exposed surface. This period is the one that we are interested with. During this period, the rate of drying is controlled by external mass and heat transfer between the exposed surface of the wet solid and bulk gas. This period terminates at point C which is called the critical moisture content. At this point onwards, the moisture barely covers the exposed surface and the drying rate decreases. This period is called the falling rate period. The moisture will continue to evaporate until eventually the wet solid dries up. Thus, as you can compare based on the drying rate for all periods, constant rate drying is the best because you can evaporate a huge amount of moisture with a shorter period. Before we end our video, please do have a look at the reference listed below where we refer throughout the whole video making process. Thank you for your kind attention and have a nice day.